Hi everyone, Nathan here from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I'm gonna give you guys a review of the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. So uh, I already posted an in-depth review of the Paperwhite 5, so I'm not gonna rehash all that here. What I'm gonna do here is talk about the differences with the Signature Edition from the Standard Edition. So there are three key differences with the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. It adds wireless charging, and it also has an auto brightness sensor, so it'll automatically adjust the front light brightness, and it has more storage space, 32 gigabytes versus eight gigabytes on the standard version. So the standard version sells for 139, the signature edition still sells for 189, so let's get to it here. So, I mean, it's the exact same Kindle, either one you get, they have the exact same screen, all the exact same features, it's just those three key details that are different. The design is very much like the Paperwhite 4, you got the flush front screen and this sort of rubbery coating on the back, uh, and it's still the same thickness. Feels very similar in your hand as the Paperwhite 4. So you have the upgrades from the you know Paperwhite 5 to the Paperwhite 4. It adds a slightly larger 6.8 inch ink screen. Contrast is just a little bit better. Darks are a little bit blacker on the newer screens. Uh, and then you got the USB-C port. So that's a big addition with the uh, Paperwhite 5. The biggest change though is the addition of the warm front light to the Paperwhite model. So it's just like the more expensive Oasis now. You have the option to... Uh, customize the color of the front light sort of from a cool color to a warm color you can kind of blend the two it's gonna depend on how bright you have the screen as well you can kind of just see here it's just a little bit off-white so you do have more options with that so here is the main difference of course with the signature edition you have this auto brightness box where you can check this and it will automatically adjust the front light uh, based on ambient lighting conditions so you don't have to come into the menu and kind of mess with it yourself but it will not adjust the warm front light unless you set the schedule for it I'll talk about that in a minute uh, but as you can see here we turn the light off and it will automatically lower the brightness on its own so I mean this is the same thing that the Voyage and the uh, Oasis have had for a long time so it's not a new feature exactly it's just new for the Kindle Paperwhite line uh, to get that auto brightness sensor on there and to have it automatically adjust the brightness based on your lighting conditions so uh, some people really like that. Uh, I kind of find it distracting because I'm always aware of it changing. It is a little bit better than it used to be. It's kind of subtle. It goes down slowly, but I'm still aware of it. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things. You might like it. You might not. And here you can also set the warmth schedule so you can have it uh, change to your warm color based on the time of day. Or you can set it up to have uh, you can have the manual time or the automatic uh, setting in here so you can have the uh, warm front light uh, trigger at certain times. So with the auto front light sensor, you also have this additional night light setting in the uh, settings menu with the signature edition that will gradually adjust the light at night. So uh, here's the, you can see the front light sensor on the signature edition here at the top. Uh, that's the one way to tell the two different models uh, just from a quick visual glance. So uh, the other main difference of course with the signature edition is it adds wireless charging. So you can use these Qi wireless chargers. They're like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, and so you just got to line it up just right, like right in the center and it will, it'll tell you when it starts to charge, it'll put this battery icon on the screen. So, you know, it's charging and then the little led on the bottom lights up as well. So you can see that it's charging without the screen being turned on. Uh, so wireless charging. Yeah, it's pretty nice on phones and I use it for my phone and my wire wireless earbuds. But you know, I mean with the Kindle, you really only need to charge it like every few weeks. So I'm not entirely sure the usefulness of that, but it is definitely convenient. Uh, having the wireless charger capability. So Amazon also sells a dock uh, for $30 on the website that you can use a special wireless charger specifically for the Kindle Paperwhite. It costs $30, so you can use that or you can use just a standard Qi wireless charger. So the last main difference between the Signature Edition and the regular standard Paperwhite is the storage space. So the standard version comes with eight gigabytes, which is about you know 6.2 gigabytes usable. And the uh, Signature Edition has 32 gigabytes, so about 27 usable. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really add up when you count for both of them. But uh, one thing about the more storage space is you're really only going to need that if you like audiobooks or like have a large comic collection, you're never going to need 32 gigabytes anywhere close just for ebooks. Um, I mean, that's like 20,000 ebooks or something. I mean, I, that would be insane to even navigate on a Kindle. I know everyone likes getting devices with more storage. But when it comes to Kindles, it really it's only useful for audiobooks. Or if you have just a massive collection of like, comics or PDFs or something like that that you want to read on here because uh, ebooks I mean they don't take up much space even the eight gigabyte Kindle you can probably fit four or five thousand ebooks on there so one other minor detail with the signature edition is it does not have ads at all so uh, that's a nice upgrade uh, the $139 version does come with ads so this one on the left it's actually the kids version it doesn't have ads either uh, so it's only $20 more than the regular version and it comes with a cover and a two-year warranty so I think that's actually the better deal if you don't want the ad supported 8 gigabyte model because you get the cover and the warranty 
for the same price. But if you got the $139 version, like on the Paperwhite 4 here, it will show this ad every time you open the cover or you turn your Kindle on, and then it makes you swipe the screen to get past that ad. So I find that really annoying. So, I mean, it's worth getting rid of the ads just not to have to swipe the screen, frankly. Uh, so that's definitely one advantage with the Signature Edition as well because it does not have ads at all. So it's not even an option. I already uploaded a video compares, comparing these two devices, the uh, Paperwhite 5 and the Paperwhite 4. So Paperwhite 5, it's definitely a little bit faster. They got a newer processor on here. It reacts faster, turns page faster, loads things faster. And contrast is just a little bit better. Check out my comparison review if you wanted a closer look at those two. So I just wanted to show you guys the differences between the Paperwhite Signature Edition and the Standard Edition. Like I said, I'll refer you guys to the main Paperwhite review for like an in-depth look at this device in action. But just as a quick overview, you know, you obviously you can read Kindle eBooks on here. You can sideload uh, eBooks as well. You've got the option to read uh, magazines, comics, newspapers, uh, audiobooks are supported. Of course, you can use Bluetooth to connect uh, headphones or speakers to listen to your audiobook. Uh, you can load PDFs on here. Uh, I'll probably post a PDF review a bit later. Uh, you can also load in your own fonts as something uh, I hadn't shown in the regular video. You just put it in the font folder on your Kindle. I really do like this Merriweather font. Uh, I really think they should just have that be a standard font on here. But at least it's an option to add your own. It's definitely uh, nice to have some uh, freedom in that choice. Um, so I do like the performance increase with the new Paperwhite 5. That's one of the things that jumps out the most is just, just zippier in general. Pages load faster. The menus load faster. Uh, not really any kind of delay. Like sometimes you'd, you know, with the older model, you'd click on something and then you would think for a second maybe you didn't, it didn't register because it would take a while to activate. But uh, definitely nice with the uh, performance boost on here. And like I said, the contrast is a little bit better. Probably is a little exaggerated in these videos because there's so much overhead light on here to get the you know image clear for a video. Uh, but it is noticeable in person with the uh, darker darks, darker blacks, like when you're using dark mode here. Uh, and just like the cover images just have a little bit more inky black to the uh, screen. So that's definitely an advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here, guys. I just wanted to talk about the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition and how it differs from the Standard Edition uh, with the wireless charging, the auto brightness sensor, and the additional storage space. And of course, it doesn't have ads like the cheaper $139 version does. So, I mean, you can get that version without ads as well for $159. So uh, main difference, obviously, just with the front light auto adjusting sensor and then the wireless charging. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check the full review for more details. I'll put the link underneath the video.